Welcome back, friends. Today, I'm going to show you how I created these letters with lines going through them. Now, before we get started, and if there's anything else that you want to learn, please do drop it in the comments down below. All right, let's get started. So for this design, we're going to start with the YouTube thumbnail. The size is 1280 pixels by 720 pixels. And I'm going to start by going to my elements and searching for some letter frames. So I'm going to place a few on my workspace. I'm going to start with an L, an I, an N, an E, and an S. So if you can't tell, I am spelling the word lines. I'm just going to grab them and make them a little bit smaller. That way I can place them on my work space and try and space them out evenly. And I'm just going to move them a little bit closer together. like that and I'll just tidy them up to make sure that they are spaced out uh, evenly. I'm going to grab them and I'm just going to bring them down here and then I'm going to make them a little bit taller like this and I'll just reposition them slightly like that. All right so we're now I'm now going to create a, another page and on this other page I'm going to create some lines. So I am going to go into elements and to help me create these lines, I am going to search for something that is tapered on the end and a little wider on the top. So really I am searching for something that is geometric but tapered like this right here. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to change the color of this shape so that it is all pink. And now I'm going to just make it taller like this. And I'm going to position this over here on this side like this. And I'm going to make a copy of this and nudge it together. And I'm going to continue to make copies all the way through. Let me just grab these and, and um, again, I'll make another copy and I'll bring this over here like that. All right, so I'm now going to take this and I'm just going to move it over slightly and I'm going to make a copy of this and I'm going to rotate it to 180 degrees and then I'm going to position it like so. And let me just close that. I'm going to grab these needles up here and I'm going to go to transparency. I'm going to turn down the transparency a little bit like that. And let me just grab one more and make a copy. And I'm going to move that right there like that. All right. I'm now going to take a copy of this and I'm going to paste it and I'm going to create the same design, but in different colors. So I will be right back. All right. So now that I've created all of my colored lines, I'm going to download all of these as PNG transparent. 
So there's transparent, there's PNG, but I don't want the first page, but I'm just going to download everything all together. And that's going to save in my downloads folder as a zip. So I'm just going to right click on that zip folder and I'm going to extract it all. And here it is right here. So I am just going to um, minimize this and then I'm going to drag all of those designs inside of my project. So I'm going to grab them all and they will upload right in there. So here they all are. I'm just going to grab all of these and I'm just going to move them to the side right here. And I'll just place each one inside a frame. And we can now double click inside and we can change the direction of the lines by just clicking the rotate button. And if we want to change the background, we can also change the background to black. Now the lines are transparent. And the beauty of using a letter frames is that we can layer letter frames so that if you wanted to add a solid color behind, you could also do that by just making a duplicate or adding that letter frame again and then filling that with a color or another pattern if you want to do that. So if I go to position and layers and I grab that L and I bring it behind the first L, what you're going to see is that solid letter frame first and then that letter frame with the lines running through it. So that is uh, about it on how to place lines in letters. If you learned anything in this tutorial, press that like button and subscribe. And if you want to know more about Canva, you want to learn Canva, press that join button next to my channel membership and join my membership. I go live every single week to teach my adult learners what they want to know. So join us and you can have fun with us. If there's anything else that you want to learn, please drop it in the comments. And for now, I'm going to say bye-bye until next time.